no large or disruptive gatherings forming in and around Millennium Park this weekend. That's the good news. But there has been a larger CPD presence and others coming together to deter another teen takeover. Fox 32's Nate Rogers joins us with more on the group Marching for Peace. Nate. Half of Chicago's most prominent African-American churches collaborated in today's march, and they said they wanted to make sure that their message was clear to let young people know that they are loved. Touch West Garfield Park. Touch Inglewood. In Michigan and Roosevelt, more than 500 black... Let young people... These... <laughs> what? This is, this is problem-solving. In, in the sun world, somehow. <laughs> he is worse, man. You be thinking you heard the words and it just gets worse and worse and worse. Half of Chicago's most prominent African-American churches collaborated in today's march, and they said they wanted to make sure that their message was clear to let young people know that they are loved. Touch West Garfield Park. Touch England. At Michigan and Roosevelt, more than 500 black men standing in solidarity for a cause greater than themselves. I had to come down here. I came from Joliet, and I'm proud to be a black man today, standing out here in the cold. Black man doing the work. Black man doing the work. With <laughs> He's always screaming about something, looking for attention. But this is not work. Like, this ain't the work, man. No, this is just like, uh, this is just virtue signaling and like, look at us. Feel sorry for us when bad stuff happens because we're out here screaming. This isn't a mountain to a hill of fucking beans, man. This is. What is this? What is this? I'm proud to be a black man today. What? I'm from Joliet, and I'm proud to be a black man today, standing out here in the cold. Black man doing the work. Black man doing the work. With signs in hand, men of all ages walking and talking about solutions. What I think would help them is each man take one to learn that there's another way in life. You don't have to go that way. We want to let our young people know that they are not forgotten and that they're not forsaken. However, there is behavior that's acceptable and behavior that's not acceptable. The march down Michigan Avenue occurred as hundreds of police officers patrolled the area. It comes one week after throngs of teenagers were seen running in the street, some vandalizing vehicles and city property. Two teenagers were shot. Tourists were also attacked. Here's something that we've been missing the wealth of our presence. They need to hear from us. We need to hear from them. And so we need to take time out to see what they're thinking. What well, where are they? They ain't got, they ain't got sh why, why are you listening? Why are you li be listening to, to these young people? Like, why? Where That's are stupid. they, though? It seemed like this. One last weekend, all the sun teams was down there, and these guys weren't around. Then this weekend, these guys are down there, and the sun teams hit around. <laughs> so what the and, why would they, and why would they think the? Why would they think these violent hoodlums would listen to them? Yeah, I mean the type of kids they're talking about are fucking like man, get the, man, go ahead, old head, man, get the fuck on, man, fuck on, old head. They have no respect for them, so why would they listen? They ain't gonna listen to you. You know what? They would be respectful if they thought they was going to get something. Like, they probably like, yeah, they'll listen and listen. And they'd be like, they hit you with a sob story. Yeah, man, my little brother, um, he ain't ate nothing in two days because my mother sold all the sold all the food for crack. Um, and I got to go home. I got to feed him. So I got to hit the block and sell some drugs to try to feed him. Oh, young man, I got you. Don't worry about it. Oh, here, it'll take $100, man. Go buy yourself something to eat. That motherfucker lying like shit through his teeth, man. Just con the fuck out of you, man. That's all the fuck they gonna do is con these fucking cornballs. 
what they've been going through. What, what is the effects of the traumas that they've been going through and experiencing? The group marched two miles, ending at Michigan and Wacker. If young people did have more resources, more opportunities um, in their communities, but also downtown, do you think that they would, you know, behave differently? I know it's a couple of kids I had that would, because I know, especially me and my homies, I know we would. Organizing Pastor Charlie Dates. Shut your bitch ass up, you fucking lying punk. Nah, y'all fall off. Like, what and the fuck are y'all talking about? Say they have a host it, of absolutely <laughs> They're far off. We got the power of God He's down here He's screaming. They spared the rod far too many times. They, these kids ain't going to listen to them. Oh, shit. They fear. <laughs> Dude, they need to fear you. <laughs> Man, I, I know me and my homies. We 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 be acting different when we be getting them resources. No, the fuck you don't. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. That's the only way you gonna get them to fucking to fucking act right, man.